Ava. Brad, you guys have um, obviously put forth a couple of really good efforts lately, but what was the difference tonight in being able to kind of put away the win? Uh, first, praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, more or less, I mean, it was our defense. We, we guarded for 48 minutes. Uh, I think we did a good job of just, just disrupting them. That's the, that's the best team that came here in the league right now tonight. And uh, we just did a good job of making them uncomfortable and, uh, and making sure that we executed on the offensive end. You know, we were making sure everybody was involved. Um, but it was definitely our defense that, that definitely won us a game. That's a no brainer. On offense, you and Russ were obviously so complimentary. What was working there for you guys kind of playing off of each other tonight? Uh, I mean, that's just, that's growth, you know, uh, he's, he's easy to play with, you know, because he understands the game. He's very unselfish and I feel like I'm the same way. So it's just, it's just, a, it was just a feeling out there. It's not like we tell each other what to do or, you know, certain stuff we may see, we try to, you know, we, we may teach or say, watch out for this or look at me here, certain spots, but more or less, it's just, it's just reactionary. You know, we just understand uh, where each other will be on the floor, where we like the ball, and it's, it's been great. It's been great to see and and be a part of. Peace. Hey, Brad. Uh, Forty three points for you. Uh, Forty two for Donovan Mitchell. W what was it like battling him tonight? Two All Star guards. Oh, it's tough. You know, he's he's a great he's a great player. He's All Star for a reason. Uh, you know, and when he gets downhill, man, he's he's one of the best guards in the league. You know, granted, he loves his three ball, but you know, I feel like he's he's very dangerous when he's attacking downhill. Uh, you know, especially at bigs. So you know, we we just tried to contain him as best as we can as we could. I think in the first half we did a good job of that. Second half he kind of got going, got loose. Uh, but you know, we, we respect his game and respect what he's capable of doing. Uh, but I think we did a good job of, of trying to control them, I would say. And uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you had uh, your last 11 40-point games that the, the team had lost, and, and that was an NBA record. And uh, tonight that streak was broken. What was it like just whether you're aware of that record or not to, to have that streak broken? The only reason I'm aware of that record is because you all make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's great to, to cut that that streak off, so. Fred? Hey, Brad. Um, Russell is was nine for 11 from the line tonight. He was nine for, for 12 last night. And he's been going through his free throw struggles this year. I'm just wondering, have, have you ever had a point where you've kind of gone through a slump at the line, whatever the numbers might've been in those moments? And if so, is there anything different about slumping at the free throw line, just with how like mental that can be compared to other sorts of slumps you can fall into? Uh, free throws is all mental, mental and mechanics to me anyway. Uh, I haven't always been a great free throw shooter. Like I think I've only been averaging the eighties the last two years, maybe if that. I've been shooting high seventies, uh, you know, in previous years before that. So I wouldn't call myself a great uh, free throw shooter until honestly this year, maybe last year. Uh, but it's all mental. Like it's just a confidence thing going up there and knocking them down. Uh, everybody's different. You know, everybody's, everybody's routine is different. Everybody's rhythm is different. Everybody's mechanics are different. And everybody's thought process is different. Uh, but, you know, I feel like he's been actually making us making a lot of them his last couple of games, which has been good for us. Uh, Cause he gets there a lot, but he, he knows that, you know, we don't need to, kind of put more fuel on that fire. You know, he he already knows what he needs to do and what he needs to get better at. Uh, it's one of the areas, but hell, we all do, so. Chase, you have another question? Uh, yeah, Brad, just uh, the way Russ came out there in, in the first quarter and, and in the first half, what did that do to lift you guys? Well, he was carrying us, you know, he was, uh, he had it going. Uh, he had a rhythm and, you know, we it wasn't broke. We didn't fix it. So, you know, we stuck with it, allowed him to be aggressive, allowed him to attack. And uh, and everybody else was just ready to go when, you know, when their time came. So uh, it was it's great to be able to see him. I, I love when he's aggressive um, and shooting the ball. 
because uh, it makes us it, it spreads the floor out, makes everybody have to be respected. He gets more open driving lanes that way. So you know, it's uh, I'm happy for him, and uh, we just got to keep it going. We both understand that you know this ship isn't gonna move unless we're we're steering it. So. Last question to Brianna. Hey, Brad. So going off the statement, you have fun. You, you win because you have fun or because you have fun, you win. What viewpoint do you take, especially after tonight's game and going forward? Uh, both. I mean, I always look at it as, you know, this is a game we're all blessed to play. So, you know, I always... I always try to have fun with the game. You know, the results would be what they are. You know, I don't predicate being happy or being proud with wins and losses. Granted, nobody likes to lose, but, you know, ultimately, that's a blessing to play this game regardless of what your record shows. Uh, you know, to be a part of some of the best guys to ever touch a ball. It's only 450 guys in the NBA. Uh, something I always try to emphasize to my AAU kids and guys I try to mentor is, you know, it's, it's tough to be here. It's tough to make it. Uh, and it's tough to stay, you know, so uh, just counting that blessing and realizing that being here in itself is, is an opportunity that you should be grateful for and happy about. Uh, and at the same time, when you're winning, it, it definitely creates joy uh, within the team in the locker room. But I think nonetheless, just being where we are in the position we are in, you know, embrace who we are and what we do. And uh, for the rest, take care of yourself. Thank you. Chase. Rui, uh, you know, we saw on, on TV there was a moment where Russ was kind of uh, demonstrating something to you during a timeout. Um, what, uh, I, I guess, what was what was he trying to tell you in that moment and, and how his, his tutelage kind of helped you this year? Oh, you know, um, he was just telling me, like, you know, because I – when I drive, you know, I show the ball too much. So he was just telling me, like, you know, just bring the ball higher so, you know, they can get it, you know. But he been telling me those kind of stuff, you know. He's been teaching me, like, a lot of stuff, you know. He's actually been helping, you know, especially, like, he's really um, – he's a really great, great driver. Um, you know, I'm the one of the guys, you know, I can drive and shoot and all the kind of stuff. So, like, you know, it's been – it's been great, actually. He he been teaching me a lot of stuff, a lot of trick, you know, those kind of stuff. And yeah, that was one of the part. That was a part of it. And what do you what do you think allowed you guys to you know get off to such a good start tonight and able to maintain that to the end? It was great, you know. Um, most of the game, we always chasing them, you know. Um, we always down in the first half and stuff. But this game, we we started great. We started with a great energy, um, especially defense. Brief before the game, even before the game, we we talk about it, just forget about offense. We just focus on defense, and then you know, look what happened. You know, we we just won a game. So I think we should keep doing it um, this way and just locked in, especially like last minute. You know, the end of the games. Ava. Really, you got to start charging overtime for two languages. That's the only way. Ah. <laughs> um, just on on your and Russ's relationship, you guys obviously have very different personalities as far as we know. Were you surprised at, at how well you guys have been meshing or how kind of effectively he's been able to communicate with you and, and kind of get um, get you riled up at, at the right time? Wait, say it again. C communicate with the just you on with you and Russ because it just oh, seems like you guys might have different personalities to us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, he's very really vocal, you know. He, I mean, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing, but he talks a lot, you know. Um, but it's actually helping me. Um, he always try to communicate with me, with the team, the coaches, you know. Um, he does a lot of things for us, you know. It's not only the on the court, but like off the court, you know, trying to talk through, um, watch like film and stuff together. It's actually been helping, especially we have a lot of young guys. So, you know, we're still, we're still learning a lot of stuff. And like him, like he was MVP, MVP, and he played for like 10 years, more than 10 years in the league. So uh, we, as a young guys, and including me, like it's actually been helping. 
did you guys connect immediately? Like, was it as soon as he got here, you were like, yeah, that's my guy? Or how long did it take until you really started to trust him and, and kind of develop sure. that? With- He's a very friendly guy, you know. Um, he, even, it's not only basketball. He, we can talk about the other stuff. Um, as soon as he got here, you know, he was a, I, I knew, like, you know, like I said before, but he changed the energy, you know, this team. We, we had a more good energy um, off the court. I mean, on the cold, like, you know, we've been, we've been having good energy. You know, we, today we had a, we showed it uh, from the beginning of the game and we won a game today. So we got to, we got to keep doing it. Thanks, Rui. Um, Zach Akuma. Uh, you're okay. Team. And sure. also everybody, before Zach starts, uh, Russ will be on the primary link, just so you know. Okay, so um, if we can change the background real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. ダブルインタビューよろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。え、まず勝利おめでとうございます。ありがとうございます。え、今日はNBAのトップチーム相手に見事な勝利でしたね。そうですね、デラシから、あの、いいですね。できて、ま
構どんどんアグレッシブにやってきてますし、あのー、ディフェンスでもオフェンスでも、そこが、あのーまあ、評価されてるんじゃないかなと思って、まあ、チームもそうですし、コーチ陣からもこうどんどん、あのー、評価をもらって、信頼されてるんじゃないかなと証拠だと思うので、これからもどんどん続けていきたいなと思います。はい、ありがとうございます。他に質問ある方、いらっしゃいますか大丈夫ですか,いいですかじゃあ山脇さん、はい、もう一問お願いします。いいますはい、これが最後です。はい、お願いします。はい、すみません。はい、あのー、4試合連続37分ぐらい以上プレーされてるんですけれども、これが以前あったのが西に来た時の西区 A 戦に来て、あの強豪相手に戦った時もやはり大体36分、37分以上プレーしていたんですけれども、あの時はすごく。あのディフェンスの面でかなり自信を得た4試合だったと思うんですがこの4試合ぐらいで八村選手が何か得たものがあるとしたらどういったものになりますかそうですねあの、まあ、今、チームとしてもあのディフェンスはもちろんですけどあのオフェンスのところでもこうマラッセル、ブラッドに続いて3人目の選手が。必要にされてるんじゃないかなと思うので、まあ、僕がその一人になれるんじゃないかなと思うので、そういうところで積極的にいきたいなと思いますし、まあ、ディフェンス部分で言われた通り、あのー、絶対にやってしやすい<笑>あ、まあ、ディフェンスもあのそこで積極的にやっていきたいなというのは思います、ね、はい、ありがとうございます。すいません。はい、では以上です。八村選手、ありがとうございました。ありがとうございます。Back to you, Katia.